Oh, pfft. I'm fine. <laughs> I was, oh, like, was I was like, okay, don't be the helicopter parrot. That could have been a lot worse. This is where we're gonna build it. The back side of it'll be like right here, right there. What is up, adventure agents? Agent Tex here. Baby agent Tim Strongman here. Baby we got Tim Agent Strongman. Look at baby Tim and berries. Oh yes, look They're at that. Baby, look right there too. Oh my goodness, that's so perfect. <gasps> okay, salmon berries are the first berries that become ripe here. Uh, in the Pacific Northwest, at least in our region of the Pacific Northwest. Agent X here. And we also have Agent Hummingbird over there. And Agent Tracker is here somewhere. There she is. There's Agent Tracker. Agent Tracker. Badge. Where's your badge, Agent Tracker? You forgot it again. Agent Bye. Tracker forgot her badge again, as per usual. <laughs> All right, Agent. So today we are going to build a raised platform right here, a lean-to shelter and we are going to camp overnight in it, me and Agent Axe. So we're gonna be about, uh, uh, oh, that's like seven or eight feet off the ground, and it's gonna give us a little bit of protection from the wild animals that are around here. We're gonna have a little tarp that leans over to protect us just in case it rains, and it's gonna be open on both ends. And the materials we're gonna use for this platform, we are gonna source from all of these alders that are sitting around everywhere, that fell during the storm. And we're actually, during an ice storm this winter, we're actually on Al's property, our neighbor, D.B. Cooper. <laughs> Who did that? Oh, I guess, I guess he fixed it. All right, so there's also, as our water source, a fresh spring that comes right out of the Look ground the there. And we drink out of it. Is really in there. Yeah. Oh, Agent Tracker, she's so hot. Oh my goodness, Agent Tracker, you doing okay? Yeah, she just ran all the Look. way up here, so. Look. Oh, there's a spider in our drinking cup. <laughs> the spring pipe is not working, so we're going to have to get Agent Axe to fix that up so where we can have good spring water to drink. I can't do that tonight. right now, though. Oh, no, you didn't bring your boots. Mm -hmm. Here's what you have to do, okay? Take off your shoes and roll up your... Uh, what? I will be cold. You'll be okay. It's, it's almost 80 degrees out here. So it shouldn't take too long. What you'll need to do is find the pipe and then get some kind of stick or something. And make sure it's a live one so it doesn't break off inside of there. And you'll have to clean out the pipe with the stick by jamming it up in there. And maybe maybe the pipe, you just use your finger, but you may have to use a good, a good stick. Wow. <laughs> be gentle. Yeah, be gentle, okay. All right, so Agent Axe is rolling up his sleeves and he's ready to start. Working rolling, on, what are you I'm doing rolling, exactly? Rolling up my sleeves. To do what? Um, unclog the pipe right there. Oh, it's just buried in that mud? Yeah. Oh my. This is metal. Is that, oh yeah, it's not a stick. It has water in the cup. The frogs and the cup. Oh! Okay. Is it still going up? Oh. Okay, we're gonna try and get it flowing. Just like it's flowing up here, we're trying to get, get the water to start coming out of the end of the pipe just like it is on the ground right here. Let me see, Agent Hummingbird. You got a frog in the cup? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just swimming in there? The frog would drink. You found it, oh, Agent X? Yeah. But I can't be in there any longer. My hands are literally like <laughs> Okay, yeah, the three of us are feeling for it down here. There's the pipe again, tracing it up the hill. We found right it. Where was it, Agent Hummingbird? Right here. 
Where did you feel it with your fingers? Um, right here, I think. I feel it right there. Yeah. Feel it? Where my fingers are? You can almost yeah. you could probably wrap yeah. your whole hand around it right there. Uh, Still going up. Oh, I think I feel it. I got it. Right here. You gotta make it clear so that the water can start flowing yeah. from the ground yeah, right into here. that pipe. Yeah, right. Agent X, is any water coming out down there? Not yet. This might uh, result in me putting my mouth on this pipe at one point <laughs> in order to get this clear. Because I can I can feel the end of it right here. So what can we use to try and clear the pipe without without putting our mouth? Yeah, there you go, a stick. Let's try and find a long stick that we can put the in there. The one I had for the spear would have been perfect. Oh, yeah, we tried, he was making a spear before we rode the bikes up here. I have one. Okay, let's, so let's try and find something like that. Right and here. You have your knife too, right? Yeah. Yeah, so just make let's just make another spear just like that. And we can stuff it down in there. Use that end of the pipe to see if that uh, will work. And see if you get any resistance when you stick it in there. Then we'll know how far that mud is stuck into that pipe. No resistance. Is there... Oh, no mud. Oh, it looks clean. So for the length of that stick inside that pipe, it's clear. That much is clear. Yep. So maybe we can try and find... Here, let's let's try and use that one down there and see if it'll work. And if not, we may need a longer one. I'm not. You want to try it? I'm getting thirsty. <laughs> I can't wait for this to get clear. But we're going to have to work for it. It's not going to be easy. Did you find the end of it? Yeah, there's mud right here, a bunch of it. Ah, let's, let's try and feel for it. Wait, that thick end in. Oh, yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it in there. Okay, try and work it back and forth. Go pull it out and push it back in. And I'll keep it inside the pipe. There you go. One drop. There you go. Oh, Axel says we got a drop. Two drop. <laughs> Two drop. Clear it. Oh, there we go. I think we got it. I want it. Oh, got it. Oh, oh, I think I got it. It's going out. It's all the way through there. Clear here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was clear for that area that I could fit the stick in there, but past that, I think it's stuffed with stuff. So what is it we're trying to do here, Agent Hummingbird? Un unclog the spring, the pipe. You can't jump out? Mm -mm. Even if you try? Let's see it. <laughs> She's stuck, stuck in the mud. Today is also a really special day. It is Agent Trinity and I's 15 year anniversary. I've invited Agent Trinity to join us tonight for dinner on our platform here. She knows she's invited to dinner, but I'm gonna try to create a somewhat semi-bushcraft romantic dinner for her tonight <laughs> that she won't be fully expecting. So we'll see how it goes, but we gotta hurry up and get to work. So I'm doing the measurements with my arms. It makes it a lot simpler and I use segments of like two arm lengths and an elbow or two arm lengths and then to my nose or something like that. It works really well for measuring when it comes to these logs. This platform is going to be two exact arm widths of mine. So when a log suspended like this, what I do is I make my top mark, then I cut the bottom first until the point where you can feel the saw starting to get pinched a little bit. Pull out, because it'll get stuck and you'll be, well, <laughs> you won't be able to get it out. <laughs> and then once that's done, you take your saw out, flip it over, and cut the other side. If you don't do that, what'll happen is the log will break at some point with the weight and it'll rip off a big piece of it. And that's not ideal. So this tree right here is sitting on the ground over there and sitting on a log right here. So I wanna actually do the opposite. I'm gonna start by sawing the top until it pinches my blade a little bit. And then I'm gonna finish my cut on the bottom because when it falls, it's gonna fall down this way. Both ends of this are gonna go down.
think that might work or hummingbird? What do you think? Mm -hmm. work for okay, hummingbird. try and find the end of the pipe. Right. It's gonna there. go to about right there. Right where this leaf is, right here. Okay, right there the stick got muddy, so because we gotta get this stick in there and there's this hill on that side of it, I'm gonna have to bend it. I'm I see the cold one in there, but once I feel some resistance. Okay. That's where the other stick started to get stuck. You got, got it? Oh, oh nice. I see. Oh. Pull it. I hear it down here. It's it's echoing. Pull it out and maybe see if it'll come through. I'm going to try something different here. There we go. Moment of truth. Are you ready for this? Is everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. Look at that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there it goes. All right, Yay! have a drink. Give me a cup. Oh, look at it. It's so... Oh, all right. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> dirty, dirty. <laughs> I put dirt in it. Oh, look at that. I put dirt in it. Look at that. No, look at this, Daddy. Hey, look at that. Oh. I'm not gonna do the Austin Powers reference. <laughs> Damn, look, see my hands? Watch. Damn, I'm washing my hands. I'm washing my hands. Uh oh. I'm washing my hands. Yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll just have to wait for the spring to run clean again. Nice job, Agent Axe. Give me five. Give me five, Agent Hummingbird. Let me see. Drink some of that water. I double dog dare ya. <laughs> <Was it good? laughs> nice work, man. Yeah, nice work. Team, good effort. Effort. team, team effort. effort. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Adventure agents, team effort. Here you go. Clean from the source. Walking, man. <clears throat> That's real strong. Is that a red cedar? No, that's a fur. Agent out. I found some really good stuff. Oh boy. That is really good. Uh, this is all we need right here. Let's give it a shot with Agent Strongman Power first, okay. <laughs> and then we'll try to use leverage. One, two, three, go. <sighs> yep, leverage, okay. <laughs> Agent Strongman strong isn't Not actually strong. a gigantic piece of hydraulic equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is some of the best fat wood. Oh, there it is. Good work. <laughs> All right, you two are on hot dog duty. Cook that for you and Agent Strongman. Agent Hummingbird, cook these two for me and you, okay? Now listen, I don't want mine burnt. Can you can you help me out with that? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs>
Hey, please. All right. Hey, YouTube. Please stop arguing, okay? Is it done? That side. Let me inspect it. That Let's side see. Oh, you know what? It's a tiny bit blackened on that side, but I don't think it's really a hot dog unless it has a little bit of burn on it. So you did perfect. I think you would like this one better. Oh, that one looks good too. You know, it all depends on your preference. <laughs> all depends on your preference. Actually, I'm so thirsty. I can't eat right now. I got a drink. Look at that. Nice and clean. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll get you a drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Let, let her have some first. Ladies first. You and the worst. That? First is the worst. Second is the best. Not a gentleman, Agent X. Come now. Why would I be a gentleman? I because play Pokemon. It's optimal. That has that, that makes absolutely no sense. My mommy says. I'm Pokemon sure Ash is from Pokemon was an absolute gentleman. Brock was. A <laughs> <laughs> Brock is blind. <laughs> Brock's got something else going on. So yeah, you can see it here. It is all settled. A lot cleaner now. Mmm. There's many left. Hot dogs I make you? It is good. Thank you. There's your mine. Jax brought me a snack. <laughs> Victory snack. Uh, Are you thirsty? Uh, just in time. <laughs> it's Thank clean you. now. The spring is clean. <laughs> You're welcome. Man, yeah. you got, I just saw your trail of lumber here. So I think, I think we may be close to having enough. So, okay. Yeah, this is where all the best ones were, unfortunately. We're right going to have to yeah. pack them down the hill. Right. <laughs> they couldn't all be right there. <laughs> well, that's what Agent Strongman's yeah. for, <laughs> amongst other things. <laughs> One down. Got a whole bunch to go. All right, so <laughs> I made a mistake. I made these way too big. And it's a lot of weight we're feeling on these beams. It's excessive. I don't need that much space to sleep. So we're cutting them off and it'll work just fine with it that short. <laughs> trying to hurry because my date's almost here. You brought my date. 
<laughs> my bike died. Daddy. It's okay if I bring my girlfriend. It's okay husband. if you bring, yeah. <laughs> Daddy. Yeah, and, and Agent Hummingbird's bike died on the way up. Oh, it so did? We had to rescue her. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Well, I sent Axel back because she, I was like, hey, she's not here. And then I sent Axel back and he's like, the truck's coming up. So. <laughs> yep. Wait, we made it up the mountain. Axel has oh. my other battery. All right, Chef X, you're on salad duty. Salad Thank you. duty? Salad, that not duty salad. in her salad, just salad duty. <laughs> Some Aww. fresh spring water. It matches my dress. Blue it blue. does. It does. Oh. That's so true. That's very smoky. Yeah, that smoke is going towards the beautiful person. It's a good person. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Happy anniversary. <laughs> yes, happy anniversary. 15 long years. It feels like 15 seconds, basically. 15 like 15 years married. We've been together for a lot longer. A lot longer, that's Well, true. a few years longer than yeah. that. Uh, it feels like a eternal moment. <laughs> eternal, beautiful. It feels like very, very long and very, very short. It does. It, it feels like a beautiful, eternal moment because it's perspective. It can be rough at times. We were fighting like cats and dogs two nights ago. <laughs> like pretty bad. But my perspective is that like you posted today, which was amazing, your uh, anniversary post, is that there's something greater than us that is actually driving this, and that's love. Conspiring for Conspiring us. for us, yeah, that's good. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, can I have a drink? It's really good. <laughs> oh, oh, the kids fixed the spring because it was kind of messed up, so. Mm -hmm. yep. So what is it that you're picking? Um, miner's lettuce. Miner's lettuce. It's like lettuce except like more miner's heat. <laughs> Although you do have to get it to like halfway and I'm not even. We have like a quarter and a half. Quarter and a half. Three quarters. Like just picking stuff for salad seems like it would be boring. But it's like a combined boring and fun. What's well, fun same. about it? What do you find fun about it? Mm. Thinking about the prospect of how good it's going to taste afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you get to do taste tests throughout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'll make for some good firewood. Uh, it's heavy right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. And just cut it. There you go. Look at that. There we go. Awesome. So, are you ever to use a knife without Daddy helping you? Mm -mm. Nope. Not, not yet. <laughs> paper Fancy plates guys. here <laughs> that, that is agent trinity's famous creamy egg yolk dressing wow. it's it, delicious it sound i like it <laughs> they, we even have forks wow. <laughs> <laughs> did you have the uh the lettuce yet yes he's never had miner's lettuce, lettuce. <laughs> well the, the miner's lettuce oh, sorry, yeah. oh um, there's 
that thing on it. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> we, we, there's a, that gorgeous. one will kill you, so. Yeah. Dressing, <laughs> dressing look out. is good. It Did, doesn't smell great, but it tastes good. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. Like to do is just like, no oh, snail homie, it's trying to do the, <laughs> the sneak up on Agent uh, Strong right here. He, too quick. Agent, he's too quick for that snail. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I see you, snail. I see you. <laughs> Look at that. That's the snail that you put there. All right, so. Did he go to them? Mm, this them is for you. This, this is for you. So I had this whole plan. I was going to like make this platform and you and me were going to walk out there and prone. eat dinner. Yeah, it was going to be like a date. Agent <laughs> Strongman was going to watch the kids oh, and, okay. and uh, Agent DB over there. And we were going to have like a 10 minute date <laughs> on a platform. But I was like, you know, I, I was imagining you like doing the bear crawl waddling out there, you know, pregnant. <laughs> You're like, cut, I'm like, cut. you know, <laughs> yeah, cut that, you know. So it wouldn't be as romantic as I imagined it to be. So we'll just sit just here. Roll me. I'll just roll, roll you across Patrick. like one of the logs. Al, <laughs> <laughs> Patrick doesn't know what a clock is or like how to comprehend. I'm surprised he's eating so early. Yeah, I know. Yeah, hey. It'd be dark by the time he's eating. Yeah, you like that. You like that, baby. Well, for our anniversary oh, gift, do you think that you could take my date home? <laughs> Your date? That's, mine. <laughs> That's true. He did. He did bring her. I I don't have a vehicle that can that get was, up here. That was my anniversary no. present for you. Okay. <laughs> brought my date for you. <laughs> well, um, we we appreciate you letting us sleep out here. Al's uh, property actually, uh, or this is Al's property, and this stream runs right down into your pond, right? Yep. Leads down there eventually, so drink out of it. yeah, he drinks out of it. So I, I can't, I can't get up at night and pee <laughs> off of our fort here because it'll go down into his oh, water. Not. So we don't want to do that. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Mm. I love you. I love you too. Feel how so dry that is. It grateful for this it. woman. She is amazing, and I don't, like I don't care how many years. It's to death. To death. Hopefully that's longer away than. You're making it sound. Yeah, this right. is, this <laughs> is a death. To the death tomorrow. Wait, show the camera this. This is cat's tail moss. That is oh. this. <laughs> that was and, my moss. But this is really dry. To, to hold the pan. <laughs> this is really dry. That like you can dry. start it. I think. I think. Yeah, we can toss this in the fire. Let's see. I think that'll get the plates started. Yep. It still doesn't burn that well. <laughs> so I'm log surfing. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> Ooh, I can stand here. You can stand. Okay, yeah, you stand towards the back there. Do, 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 do. I own this. two posts here and I'm just stacking these limbs up to create the wall here by just cutting them and sliding them down in here and then after I get about oh two feet up or a foot and a half I'm gonna wrap some cordage around here because this is starting to bend out and the logs won't fit right on top of each other they move out so just pull these two pieces together <laughs> Continue stacking. Rinse and repeat. I think this is pretty cool. <laughs> so whenever the 
whenever these uh, alders got cut or, or uh, got uh, ice on them, they just splintered. And these pieces of the alder just pop, popped off. And so this is perfect. It's like milled just for us. <laughs> I mean, we'll see if it's perfect. <laughs> I'm hoping it's perfect. Look at that. Nice. I flip that one around so it'll kind of wedge down in there. Wedge in there. Pro tip when you're building one of these things is to bring out a friend like Agent Strong right down to you. Because it would definitely scary. not have happened without you. <laughs> yeah, just put it in there. Well, we're done with this. You want to go up to there? Or? Nah, I'm good. All that good. I'm not going to stand up in here. <laughs> yep. Now we just need to. Now we just need to attach the tarp, but I don't have the tarp, so. <laughs> I am Bob. Does Bob, Bob like moss? moss? Bob likes moss. So we're stuffing this sleeping bag, it's Agent Tractor sleeping bag, with moss to make that bed a little the sleeping softer. bag's name is also Bob. Bob likes Bob. Bob likes Bob likes moss. Bob is fine. Bob's, Bob's fine, fine with wet moss. Bob, Bob likes wet moss. He does not like wet moss, but he will use wet moss. Oh yes! Oh, we have so many sleeping bags. All right. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! You got moss for Christmas. <laughs> Chris moss. Wait, we're gonna sleep on that right there? On this? Mm -hmm. We are, we are indeed. Yeah, but what's gonna stop us from rolling off? Um. Oh, I'm gonna roll a tarp down right here. Right there? Yeah. Yeah, but how are we going to stop from rolling off? Well, I'll I'll sleep on this side. <laughs> I won't roll off. I, I don't really roll. All right, let's see how this is going to work out. Oh, oh boy. Let that, me lay on it. This is going to be the most uncomfortable night of my life. It's going to be great. I think we're going to get a camping mat up here. Bob likes it. Bob likes it. <laughs> Bob, go to sleep now. Night, Bob. <sighs> night, night. So, this is the double marshmallow stick, see? You find a stick that's got a fork here, and you can cook two marshmallows at once like that. When you find a marshmallow bag, always remember to plant one. <laughs> so Agent X, you have definitely earned your marshmallows today. So proud of you for getting that salad and helping with that spring. You guys did a great job. Agent X also was the errand runner with his bike. <laughs> That looks so delicious, doesn't it? So a lot of you might think, oh man, like every episode you're eating a marshmallow or something. It's like, well, but if you think about it, that's just once a week we have marshmallows <laughs> if we do camping once a week. So it's Look. not really that often though. It seems like all the time to you all. <laughs> mm, that's fantastic. Mm. Mm. So we don't always eat cookies, but when we do, Simple Mills almond flour cookies. They're fantastic. They're the best gluten-free cookies I've ever had. And it's ready. So you like it? Yes. <laughs> I don't like it. I you don't it. like it? What do you think? You think do you like it better than the tree fort? Um yes. You do? Yeah, I wanna I wanna expand it and make it giant. <laughs> yeah, this fort is pretty sweet. I do not like it as much as the tree fort, but we could put more walls in the tree fort to make it feel a little bit safer when you're sleeping at night. But uh this definitely feels a bit more cozy because it's tighter. We got the tarp right here. We got the wall of sticks right here. I think it's pretty cool. All right, we're going to play a little Game Boy. Wow, oh. Oh, look, it's got one eye open. Uh-huh. <laughs> you should try to catch it. Yeah. I caught an Abra. We got a drop down there. And a drop over here. And 
So, so if anything wants to get to us, it's gonna have to crawl across these two poles right here. I guess bear and cougar would probably be pretty good at that, but they'll have to get through this tarp. That might be kind of tricky for them. I put in this extra middle pole here to help it to where I don't accidentally roll off. So, but Agent Axe is on the safe side over here, so he's on the side with a wall. Good morning, boy. It does not get much cooler than this. <laughs> Beautiful sight to wake up to. Birds are singing. Slept pretty good last night. A couple, couple times. There's definitely a big log right here. <laughs> There's a couple big logs. <laughs> pretty lumpy. <laughs> Leave that alone for a bit. The slope is in that direction. So, I got up in the middle of the night, and we were hanging off the end there a little bit. <laughs> so I had to pull us back up, both of us were sliding down there. Let's get the fire going and get some breakfast. This Adventure Agent's knife is super handy. I highly recommend it. It's the Adventure Agent Survival Knife at theadventureagents.com slash shop. We have this custom grind on the back for shaving that fat wood down and it catches a spark so good. And we have this custom case for it. It holds your fire starter right there. A little bungee that keeps it on. Gotta wash up before breakfast. <laughs> I feel like I'm in like an old western movie or something. Washing up before breakfast. Mm. So, in the name of science, I am going to sacrifice an adventure agent's water bottle. Let's see how this goes. I'm trying to find out if the double wall stainless will keep it from boiling. Also, I forgot a pot to boil water for breakfast. <laughs> Look at that. It's actually boiling. Some of you may already know that it would do that, but I didn't know. I didn't know if it would insulate it enough to just keep it just below boiling. So now to safely get it off the fire <laughs> with my moss mitts. Oh yeah, it's boiling good. Alright, here we go. Oh. Whew, ha. Yikes. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I didn't even need to boil it for oatmeal and coffee, but I just wanted to give it a shot and see if it worked. Life's an adventure, love is the key. This water bar is still good. I just clean off the scrapes here. I can just put a sticker on it. Oh, pfft. I'm fine. <laughs> I, oh, was like, was I was like, okay, don't be the helicopter parrot. That could have been a lot worse. <laughs> so I had to use this to boil our water for our oatmeal, and it worked. It actually worked because it's got the double wall stainless so it's insulated but it actually transferred enough heat to boil the water so now you know in the survival situation you can use the adventure agents water bottle to boil water but the lid on still good except the adventure agents logo is gone that's all well it's like half the, gone yeah but now it's like so as long as you don't melt the top on an adventure this is a this is definitely a great piece of survival gear you can get at theadventureagents.com shop you Again. can also use it to make a rainbow
Yeah, isn't that cool? <sighs> <laughs> the steel melt. Oatmeal. Oh. Apple. Good oatmeal? Mm-hmm. So we do not just have oatmeal for breakfast. That is not enough for us. We've got to have some good protein and fat. So we've got these Teton Waters grass-fed mm. sausages here. So what do you think about the, the uh, suspended bushcraft uh, lean-to shelter? Like you like it? I think it's pretty it cool. <laughs> I think that we could definitely do it better next time, but that's that's part of the whole process, right? Is to try, to try, and to keep trying, and see what you come up with, and then try again. And so, I'm really proud of you for getting that spring going, and for helping us. Thank you so much. And a big happy anniversary to me and Agent Trinity, Agent Trinity and I. And I want to show you a few photos here. There's Agent Trinity and I on our wedding day. Wait, that's that's like the Emperor's Groove. He's sitting at a table by himself. It's his birthday. Well, anyway, happy birthday to me! <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, I wanted to read something that Agent Trinity posted on Instagram. And it's about the day we got married. This is only part of what she wrote, but it's a really interesting part. Pursuing Patrick at the time was excruciating in many ways for me. It came with a new fear that I hadn't encountered before. I wanted to believe in my mind what my heart was believing, that he and I would become something better, that we wouldn't be stuck where I saw each of us in those moments. I had to set my eyes on a higher purpose, a purpose that had perhaps already been envisioned or hoped for by something beyond myself, someone beyond. That someone was love. Choosing each other is not the easy path, just as choosing to live outside the box, to adventure toward your passions, to raise children in a different way, to seek the life you want or to define your own worth outside of the expectations of others is not easy. But all these things bring life, real, raw, deep, sometimes unhinged, crazy, <laughs> wild and true life. It is worth the risks and the pain and the intensity, because what is life without the living of it? Pursue the hard and the beautiful. Pursue love. It always has been and will always be the key. Those are such beautiful words from such a beautiful woman. And that was from a time where it was extremely difficult for Agent Trinity and I. Part of that is because we learned the hard way that love, specifically me, learned that love is not a feeling. You think love's a feeling? No. No. Love can be represented in a feeling, I believe, or shared by feelings, but love is not a feeling. And feelings come and go and change, ebb and flow, and love is a who, we believe. Love saves us for each other. And Agent Trinity and I, we believe that love intended for us to commit to each other. And we did, and we committed to each other for life, and the feelings were there, they went away, they come back. But what we do to stay together, so this is the marriage advice. <laughs> what we do is we create a home where love is welcome. And it's hard. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. But it's worth it. It's so worth it. And you're welcome in our home. We love you. We're so glad that we got together and stayed together and committed. It was actually an accident. I'm just kidding. There's no accidents, but <laughs> we we it's didn't necessarily gun. intend at the moment to create him. <laughs> but love had a different plan. Accident. He was an accident. <laughs> uh, it was after we got married. A while after we we were working on a relationship, but love had other plans. It was like you need a kid. This has been too long. All right, everyone. Well, remember, life's an adventure. And love is the key. And love is a who. And love loves you. And love loves me. And love loves him. And because love loved us, we are sharing love with you. That's what we believe. That's what I believe. What do you believe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you shouldn't decide exactly what you believe right now. <laughs> yeah, it takes a while to develop beliefs. And it's important that you develop your own unique believe in beliefs. You believe in nothing, then you believe in something. Because even nothing is something. Isn't that cool? Pretty neat. 
That's, that's, that's actually a very deep philosophical argument. Even nothing is something, because you're identifying it, you're naming it, you're naming the nothing. Go into the nothing and bring love. Agent Tex out. Hey, adventure agents. All right, well, I cleaned up our suspended shelter here. For those of you who are still watching, I messed up big time on the last episode. And I'm gonna explain why in a video, and I'll put a link to that video down in the description down below. Really, really messed up. And uh, just wanted to kinda clear some things up and um, uh, share this with you. I hope that you can learn from my mistakes. Life's an adventure, love is a key. I'll put a link to the video in the description down below. Agent Tex out. All right, Adventure Agent families. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that episode. And remember, you can get early access to all of our Adventure Agent videos and also watch every single one of our family-friendly videos on our new Adventure Agents app. Check the link in the description down below to see how you can get access to it. Our app is a safe and ad-free place that your family can consume all of our family's content. And don't forget to check out theadventureagents.com slash shop to get all of your Adventure Agents clothing, badges, and our new survival gear, which includes our Adventure Agents survival knife, fire starter, flashlight, backpacks, and so much more. We'll see you on the next adventure. Thank you.